Hey guys, today I am going to let you know how to add a telemetry unit to the APM flight controller within the Quantum Nova and the Cheerson CX-20. Now, because the APM flight controllers have so many features, you really should have a telemetry unit in order to access them all without having to carry around a USB cable, so you can wirelessly do waypoints and adjust your PIDs. So basically here I'm showing you how to take the top of the unit off, which means unplugging the magnetometer and unscrewing some bolts. The flight controller case is just a snap fit, but it looks like the injection molding probably wasn't quite what they expected, so they actually put a zip tie all the way around it to ensure that the flight controller won't pop out of its case. So you need to remove that. That little piece of foam I, I pull off in, in the future, that needs to go back on there because it's covering the barometer. So the barometer is sensitive to air currents, you want to cover it with the foam. So right here, you need to take the telemetry unit and feed its wires through the bottom right by the landing gear. These are the pins that we're actually going to use. This is a serial port that's going to communicate with the telemetry unit. Directly below that is the I2C for the magnetometer. Now it goes in this order and it needs to be this order. The, the thing you need to remember is not all of these telemetry units are exactly the same. So the color coordination of the wires may not match up. Um, this telemetry unit I'm using in this video I do offer on my website so if you want it to match up to the video exactly that's the one you should pick up. There are plenty of units that will work just as well you just have to be wary of making sure you're putting the correct wires on the correct ports. As long as you don't mess up ground and power the RX and the TX can be reversed it won't function but it won't fry anything so be, be careful of that. So with a little bit of soldering skill, you can get a wireless telemetry unit hooked up to these units fairly easily. But um, obviously be very careful, use fairly low heat with the soldering iron, and make sure you have a very clean, fine-tipped soldering iron. Clean the tip as often as you can with fresh solder. Um, so it's, it's really fairly simple. You can match this exact, uh, this exact profile if you're using the same telemetry unit that I'm offering. Red, green, yellow and then there's a gap, and then black for ground. Once it's all soldered up there, you just route the wires off to the side, flip the board back over, press it into the bottom of the case, make sure to put the piece of foam back over the top, and then you'll actually press the, uh, the top of the case right back down. Ensure, it that, ensure that you have the zip tie back on, otherwise it, it could actually pop open the top of the case, and that, that would be very bad if your flight controller dislodges within the, uh, the quad. But once that's all done, you just put the whole top of the case back on, find a place that you can sort of zip tie that telemetry unit to the bottom, and you have wireless telemetry going to your new Nova or CX-20. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and take care.